Nothing unites people more than food, right? So Isaiah today uses the image of a huge, joyous banquet to describe what life is like in God's kingdom. A scrumptious, glorious feast, a feast of juicy, rich food and pure, choice wine. And this banquet takes place on top of a mountain, and all people will come, not just the fancy folks, but the special guests will be the poor and the crippled, the hurting and the sick. And the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces, because God will destroy death forever. Isaiah's ancient prophecy of God's banquet is fulfilled in the very person of Jesus. In the gospel today, Jesus serves a banquet on a mountain. He feeds everyone and heals everyone, wiping away the tears from their faces. Jesus was filled with great compassion, and that moved him to reach out to those folks. So we who are called to live Jesus should have that very same compassion, that same urge to heal and to feed and to comfort. Today, you and I will come across someone who is in need, and when that happens, tap into the Lord's compassionate, sacred heart. Let's nourish that person with what they need and not send them away empty. Let's do what Jesus would do. Let's live Jesus. May Almighty God bless and keep you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Have a Nourish Others Wednesday.